The HUMAC balance system is used to augment the balance testing and exercising you are probably already doing in the clinic. With HUMAC balance, you will be able to replace subjective testing with objective testing. Objective testing with HUMAC balance is faster, repeatable, and more informative than the typical subjective balance test. With HUMAC balance during exercise, patients will see in real time how they are distributing their weight so they can correct their performance in real time without the aid of a mirror or a clinician providing feedback. The easiest way to decide if the HUMAC balance system is right for your clinic is to use the HUMAC balance system. First, I need someone to drive the HUMAC software. HUMAC driver, please only press the keys I ask you to press when I ask you to press them. HUMAC main menu. The HUMAC main menu has a button bar. The colored bars, patient, summary, dashboard, help, are active, which means they are available. The grade buttons, test, exercise, report, and progress are grayed, which means they are not available. To use one of the grade buttons, you first must select a patient and turn them color. There are two ways to use the HUMAC software. You can use it with patients, which will allow you to save the results and recall them, or without patients, which will allow you to exercise the patient but not save the results. The fastest way to use the HUMAC system is to go through the dashboard for exercise. Select Dashboard. The dashboard provides access to all of the HUMAC balance exercise displays. The most popular display is weight bearing. Now I need someone to play the role of the patient. Patient, please remove your shoes. If you have socks, you may leave them on. Stand on the balance board, feet centered on the board, and feet under your hips. It might be helpful to march in place a few steps to position your feet under your hips. Arms should be at your side or crossed in front of your chest. Select weight bearing. Select go. This display shows how the patient is displaying their weight. For example, 54% of my weight is on my left side and 46% of my weight is on my right side. So what you might say is shift your weight a little to the right so that your weight is evenly distributed on the bar. Another way to use this display is to have patients do squats or sit down on a chair and stand up. What happens when they move? Do they shift to the uninvolved side or do they keep their weight equal? That's how weight bearing is typically used with the HUMAC balance system. To return to the dashboard, select cancel. The HUMAC balance system includes all the popular balance tests such as limits of stability and CTSIB. One test that the HUMAC balance system has is stability envelope, which is a nice way to map the patient's ability to lean, which is an indication of their strength and their neuromuscular control and their range of motion. Select stability envelope, go. The instruction for the patient is simple. With feet flat on the board, Lean as far up the arrow as possible without bending at the waist. The arrow will move each time you mark the patient's ability to reach an endpoint. The average person can lean 8 degrees to the left, 8 degrees forward, 8 degrees to the right, and 4 degrees back. In the test we just did, you will notice the patient is able to lean forward and to the right just fine, but is having trouble leaning to the left. They're able to go 6 degrees to the right and only 4 degrees to the left. With this information, you might build a training display using weight shift, which will extend the left target, but bring in the right target since the patient doesn't have a deficit leaning to the right. On the weight shift display, the idea is for the patient to pass through the green bar and then lean out until they light the green bar. You can select good hits and bad hits. A bad hit 
looks like that. If you want to display how the patient is distributing their weight right, left, and fore, aft, you want to select weight bearing XY. Select Go. From this display, we see how the patient can shift their weight to the left and to the right, but also if they lean forward and they lean back. With a display like this on the screen, a useful exercise might be a squat where you would expect their center of pressure to move towards their heels. A display like this gives the patient the feedback they need and the clinician the clinician needs to help the patient properly distribute their weight as they move from right to left, fore and aft.